Hello everybody, welcome back to Destiny 2, and today I'm going to be going over a solo Arc Hunter build um, that really, 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 really excels um, in a solo play space. Um, so if you don't have anyone to play with, or you like running things solo, this is the Hunter build for you. Um, this revolves around 1-2 punch and combination blow. Um, stacking, one to punch, not as much, uh, but definitely the whole uh, synergy with uh, Arc Strider as a subclass. So we're going to get right into it. For anyone who just wants to see the build and doesn't care about my explanations and everything, uh, here it is. The only thing I would change for general play is instead of weapon surges, um, Obviously, you want to go for stuff for melee, so maybe like, um, focusing, or not focusing strike, excuse me, uh, melee kickstart, grenade kickstart even, um, so you can get your grenade back as well, because that will jolt, jolt targets. It's the only thing I would change, the only reason I have that on is because I am going to be soloing, soloing Galaron. But yep, that is the build for anyone who cares about that. Anyone else who cares about the explanation, let's dive right in with the subclass. So, obviously we're using Arc Strider, we're using Gathering Storm. This super is super, super nice. Um, especially with Scar Star Eater scales, but obviously we're using a different exotic for today. Um, so the main things you want for this are Gambler's Dodge. This is super important, this will give us our melee back when we dodge near enemies. Combination Blow, so defeating targets with abyss ability also refills your class ability uh, energy and restores a small amount of health. Um, this will increase our melee damage uh, when defeating a target and it stacks up to three times. So you can already see the synergy there. We dodge, get our melee back, we melee, we get our dodge back, as well as some health. Uh, and we just keep going like that. I'm using Pulse Grenades with one of our uh, fragments. That Pulse Grenades are super, super nice. For our aspects, we're using Lethal Current. So, after dodging, your next melee attack has increased lunge range, jolts the target, and creates a damaging aftershock. Um, damaging any jolted target with melee uh, attacks also blinds them. So, we'll also be able to blind people at this build if you don't just outright kill them. We're also using Flow State. So, defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. While you're amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly. You are more resilient while dodging, and your reload, uh, and your reload speed is greatly increased. Um, so, a note about Lethal Current. So, it says that um, uh, it will melee attacks will jolt a target when it's a powered melee attack. Um, this does not count towards the combination blow stacks. It will it will not refresh them. Um, which is kind of silly. This isn't much of an issue um, once you're up to times three with uh, the melee, uh, but early on you want to, instead of dodge melee to get it started, you want to melee something. It may take a couple melees, but you want to melee something first and then dodge, um, and then it will have the jolt, and you should have enough damage from that times one to kill the next enemy without the jolt killing them. Um, just a kind of a weird interaction. I wish they would change that so the jolt also counted, but it doesn't. Um, anyway, in terms of fragments, spark of feedback, taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. This is obviously good because we're doing melee damage um, and we're going to be in close proximity with everyone, uh, with all the enemies. Spark of amplitude, re uh, rapidly defeating targets while you are amplified creates an orb of power. This is one of the many ways we're creating orbs of power with this build. Uh, spark of resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more uh, resistant to incoming damage. Once again, we're going to be really close because we're meleeing. And then spark of shock, your arc grenade uh, grenades jolt targets. We are going to be throwing a lot of pulse grenades with this build, so this is a very, very helpful um, uh, fragment. Uh, in terms of weapons, you can be pretty flexible. Um, for this, I'm just using Lament. Uh, a one-two punch shotgun really, really helps uh, for some of the tankier enemies, any of the yellow bars, any of the, uh, like, the majors or orange bars or whatever. Uh, it helps as well, but this is in, in no way required. It's just uh, helpful to have a shotgun in close range. Um, our exotic of choice is Assassin's Cowl, so your powered melee kills and finishers grant invisibility and healing. This is how we're going to just stay alive. Our survivability is through the roof because our um our melee will be obviously one-shotting basically everything 
Um, so we will be getting heals uh, and uh, invisibility off of our melee kills. Uh, in terms of mods, we're going to go into here. We are not using Strand Siphon. I don't know why that is on. We are going to use something else here. Probably Heavy Ammo Finder. Um, we're using Ashes to Asset, so gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. Once again, we're throwing a lot of um, grenades with this build as well. Uh, and then obviously Hands-On, so gain bonus super energy on melee kills. Most of our kills are coming from melee kills, so even if you... If you're not feeling like you're using a lot of grenades, you can swap to having two hands on, which will help even more. On our uh, helmet, or excuse me, our gauntlets, uh, I'm using Focusing Strike, Bolstering Destination, and obviously Heavy Handed. You definitely want Heavy Handed. Your, uh, your Powered Melee, Final Blows, create a normal power. Um, once again, you can run two of those if you don't really care about these. These are, these are kind of just safety ones. Um, it will give us cl class ability energy when you do damage with melees and grenades So if you do end up like dodging near not near enemies and you don't get your melee back um, You can just start punching things because you'll most likely have combination blow or throw your grenade And you can get your thing back up to increase or you, to uh, continue the combination blow chain On our chest piece we're using resistances and charged up On our boots we are using stacks on stacks um, so you have even more armor charges. I'm just using solar surges once again because for the gameplay section I'm going to be soloring Galeron. Um, but you can also do things like innervation, invigoration, absolution, um, recuperation. You don't really need because on melee kills you're going to be healing anyway. Um, and even like invigoration isn't as important. This is once again more like if you mess up your chain and you don't have your melee ability or your dodge, it also helps. Um, to get it back faster uh, or you know if you're doing a different weapon obviously you can do different surges then our class ability I'm running two things uh, of outreach so it reduces melee cooldown when you use your class ability um, this once again is only for if you are like away from enemies and you don't have you know um, you don't have your melee <laughs> And you're just trying to get it back fast. Uh, you can also use bomber. I actually might put on a bomber. Um, I I'm not using any of these once again just because I'm using surges. But you could do something like um, one two finisher for the melee ability uh, to be granted to you when you use a finisher. That's probably what I'll end up using when I'm not using weapon surges. Uh, and then I'm using Reaper, so after you use your class ability, your next weapon final blow spawns an overpower, which will give us our melee back, um, or a chunk of our melee energy back. So, once again, just another way to get your melee back, in case. A lot of it is just safety things, uh, that you can, you, it's very flexible, you can use, like, time dilation if you really want to, uh, for the weapon surge, which I actually might do in this case, um... But yeah, so that that is the build. Uh, in terms of the artifact, there's not really anything we're using um, in in here uh, for our build. So this build will definitely be viable outside of this and uh, outside of the season, I should say, and beyond. So thank you for coming and watching. I'm going to have some gameplay now. Um, I appreciate all the support very, very much. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, which will probably be another hunter video. Um, a solar hunter build and then I will move on to I have another warlock one I want to do and then I'll uh, do some um, uh, Titan ones as well. So thank you for coming and watching and I'll see you in the next video